you might have set up a brand new helium miner or recently changed the antenna of your helium hotspot and now you are wondering whether the antenna is working properly or not. In this video we are going to discuss how to figure out whether the antenna of your helium hotspot is working or not and if it is working whether the performance is optimal or not. Hey folks this is Roy and welcome back to my channel Eigentech. We are going to use Helium Explorer and look at the activity of a particular Helium Miner. Now there are three different kind of activities which can confirm that the antenna is working properly. So let us go through some examples. The first one is witnessed beacon. So this means that your Helium hotspot has witnessed the RF signal or beacon signal from another hotspot in your vicinity. So this confirms that the antenna is working properly. So witnessing beacon is the most common activity usually for a miner. The second example would be to have sent beacon. That means that your hotspot has sent a beacon signal and it has been received by other hotspots around yours. So this again confirms that your antenna was able to transmit the signal properly. So sent beacon and in previously witness beacon are both confirmation that the antenna is working. So if uh, in this case the witnessing beacon was valid, even if the witnessed beacon is invalid, that also confirms that the um, antenna is working. It's because the invalidity comes from some other factor. For example, the distance is too close or there is some RSSI value which is not uh, in the right range. However, it means that the um, antenna received the beacon signal and it has been decoded properly. So that is why uh, these two events or activities tell you that the antenna is working. The third type of activity is the data transfer. So in this case, you can see that it has transferred some packets. This happens usually when some IoT device transfers some information through your Helium hotspot. It can also happen if somebody runs a discovery mode, but that has been disabled recently. Uh, but in these two cases, it can transfer packets. And transferring packets again means that the antenna is able to transmit information. So it is working properly. So in this case, you can see there is no beacon activity. Uh, however, there is a transmit data and in other cases there is send beacon and witness beacon and however the data is not there. But in all these cases you can say that the antenna is working. Alright, let us now look at the situations where you cannot be sure whether the antenna is working properly or not and you might have to wait for a longer period of time. So let us look at a few examples. So here the first situation is that you have set up a new um, helium hotspot and your hotspot is still sinking. So in that case you have to still wait because until it's completely synced there will not be any activity. So even if you have changed your antenna and it is in the sinking status there will not be any activity. So you have to wait until the sinking is complete. The second situation could be that the sinking is complete but still uh, you have not asserted a location. So you cannot can see that there is no location here unlike in this case there is some location and some hex. So in that case also there will not be any proof of coverage related activity and you have to assert before it can start any activity. Then the next situation is it, it has been set up properly, the syncing is completed and you see only this activity which is called challenged beaconer. That means that your Helium hotspot has created a challenge for other hotspot somewhere around the world. So that uh, challenge has been accepted and uh, it got some witness but it has been performed by some other, other hotspot in the world and not by your hotspot. So the only thing your hotspot has done is it has created the challenge and transferred that information through internet. So it cannot guarantee that whether the antenna is working properly or not. So in this case you have to wait for a longer period of time uh, so that you can obtain some other activity like I showed you earlier whether this witnessed beacon or transfer packets or sent beacon activity. Let us now try to understand when you should really be concerned about your antenna. So let us consider that you have a new setup and after the syncing is completed uh, you get mostly this kind of activity. So you get uh, a challenge beaconer and a send beacon activity. So the send beacon means your hotspot has sent the beacon but it is not received by any other hotspot around yours. So you get zero witness and you do not get any witnesses from other hotspots. In this case I have considered a low null that's why this is the case. But um, let's say you have other hotspots around, you are still in this situation. So that might indicate that the antenna of your hotspot is not working. 
uh, it could be also the LoRa module or could be a loose connection so just make sure that the cable is fine the connections are all fine um, and also you can check the helium status in this case so for example status.helium.com and make sure that the blockchain and api are all working so and other hotspot around yours are working and just your hotspot is not receiving any witness and not earning much in that case it could mean that the antenna is broken or the LoRa module is broken the other situation could be that you have recently changed your antenna so you have moved from indoor setup to outdoor setup or, or just got a new antenna with a different gain and after that when the after the syncing is complete everything is done you just see that suddenly a drastic drop in your earning so for example it was uh, earning a lot then suddenly it's either zero or still let's say very small amount of earning in that case you should go back to your activity if you notice that uh, you are only getting send picker and challenge picker um, activity whereas you, earlier you were getting uh, a lot of witnesses that would mean that the connection is improper or antenna is faulty also if you uh, seem to happen that um, the frequency of the activity so let's earlier you were getting two to three witnesses every hour and now suddenly it has dropped to maybe one witness per four hours or five hours that clearly says that something is wrong with your setup in that case of course the antenna is working but it just means that the uh, modification you made is not proper uh, it could be that again if the connection is loose or the location or the gain you have chosen is not optimal uh, in some cases for example i am taking one exaggerated situation where let's say you are living on a uh, in a city and in a low rise building where you should have used a low gain antenna like 3 or 4 dbi you are using a very high gain antenna say 9 dbi in that case most of the signal will be blocked and you will not receive as many witnesses the same thing will happen if you use a high gain antenna very high gain antenna in a very high rise building so it will overshoot the signal and you will not get witnesses from other hotspots so in this case um, the earnings might drop it, it just means that the antenna is still working but the setup is not optimal okay so to conclude this video the antenna of your helium hotspot is working if your hotspot performs one or more of the following three activities number one witnessed beacon number two sent beacon which results in some valid witnesses and number three packets transfer these three activities are related to some information transmitted through your antenna if your hotspot only shows challenged beacon or option that means you have to wait and you cannot be confirmed whether the antenna of your helium hotspot is working or not if everything is synced and your helium hotspot sends a lot of beacon but all of those result in zero witnesses and you also don't get any witnesses even though there are a lot of hotspots around your helium hotspot that might indicate some problem with your antenna or the connection or the LoRa module and in that case you have to debug more and finally if you have changed recently your antenna and you are getting reduced witnesses that could mean that the new change is not optimal it's it actually degraded the performance of your helium hotspot uh, in that case you have to go back and analyze the situation of your antenna whether the gain is optimal or not whether the location is optimal or not and so on and finally a few tips for changing your antenna number one always turn your helium miner off before disconnecting the cable or the antenna from the miner second analyze your situation properly before buying or deciding the what would be the best antenna for your location i have discussed that as in a separate video you can check that out you'll find the link in the description and third if you are using an outdoor antenna try to use the lightning arrester and in that case properly ground it there were situations when the grounding was not proper and the antenna was not performing well i hope this information was useful to you if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section that's all for today thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized.